Welcome to another exciting session. And first of all, I would like to appreciate because of uh, the positive uh, feedback that I have been getting. I'm so excited and I'm so happy. So keep them coming. I'll keep on responding to them. Among them, uh, my guitar students have felt left out, kind of left out because I've never done anything uh, to do with the guitar. And so I'm dedicating this class to you guys. So be part of this and uh, let me hope that you enjoy. So what is the first thing that you do after you get the guitar? Uh, today I'm going to do an introductory lesson. So welcome and be part of this. So we'll start by learning the guitar parts. We have the tuners right here. We have six of, six of them. Three at the top, three at the bottom. These ones are strings. Then we have the sound hole and we have the bridge right here. So this is how we hold our guitar. We hold our guitar like this. This part that is hollow, you put it, make sure that it fits in, 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 your, in, your, in, your, in your in your thighs huh? or in your legs anyway. So uh, before you can get to do a couple of chords, let's learn something about the strings. So how many strings do we have? We have six strings. So each string is attached to its tuner. So these six strings, we start from the thinnest of the uh, bottom, going upwards to the thickest strings. So uh, with the strings, we usually number them and we usually name them. So numbering and naming of the strings. So with the numbering, we start from the bottom string. So the uh, bottom string is called string one, then string two, string three, string four, string five, and string six. So number one is the bottom string. Then with naming, each string has a name. Each string is different. They all have names. And these names are bear the note names. These are the, now the, the, the bear the, the note, the, the, the note, these are notes. So they are names, but they bear what? The notes. So starting from your top string, we have E, then we have A, so number six is E, uh, number five is A, number four is D, uh, number three is G, number two is B, number one is E. So this is the method that I use and this is the method that I usually teach so that it, uh, you really understand, uh, you understand the whole thing faster. We say East, Africans, Dons, go to, I, I use those two words, I just combine them to, to, to be one. So go to, or G, then B, Bed, Ali. So East Africans don't go to Bed, Ali. So E, A, D, G, B, E. So that's how we, that is how we number and also how we name the strings. So another important thing that you need to learn is the, this part here. This one is called the fret board. Then this, this, this one is called the, this part is the, the nut. called the nut, the nut. Then you have the fretboard. The whole of this part is the fretboard. It is very important. So the fretboard has been subdivided, has been subdivided into smaller, smaller portions. These ones, we call them frets. So F-R-E-T. So this one is fret one, fret two, fret three, fret four. So you can just count them on and on and on. Then we have these dots here. These ones are called markings. We have, these are called markings. And these markings, you don't have to bend your neck until you break it, trying to see where, where they are. Uh, if you're seated like this and you're holding your guitar like this, you can just check them. They're here. You see? We still, so we have them here and they have been extended up to here so you can still see them from the, this, this top part of the guitar. So what is the work of the markings? Okay, they are used to help you to locate frets easily. Uh, for example, let's, let, let's have a look at how they have been, uh, where they have been placed. So the first one is on fret three. Fret one, two, three, right? Then you have the other, the other one is in fret five. Then fret seven, 
fret 9 and in uh, where we have fret 12 we have double dots double markings showing that we have finished one cycle of the music notes that one i'll still tell you about so don't don't worry we have finished one cycle so this is fret 12 where we have the the two dots so in case i want to go to fret uh, 11 or fret 10 so what will i do i would count from here going this way i'll just locate my fret 9 then i'll know 10 is definitely here or i'll just pick my fret 12 then uh locate my my 10 very easily so guys uh in our next lesson we'll have a look at a couple of chords that as a beginner you'll have to learn them fast so thank you and uh continue watching my my lessons and please if you have not subscribed to my youtube channel i kindly request you to do so i'll be doing a lot of these may the lord bless you bye bye